Hey guys, it's Shani here again with another process video. Today I'm so excited to show you this layout. I just love how it turned out. Um, so today it's what I was inspired by was this art print that I found on Pinterest. It's really cute and very graphic and fun and modern. There's a bunch of different options and I'll link below um, to the store if you, in case you wanted to actually buy one. Um, so what I did is I took the print and I just used it as a very basic outline of what I want the bottle shape to look like. And then I, I have a light pad or like a light box. Um, and I traced over it the different outlines of what I wanted. So this is the outline of the bottle itself. Um, it, it's sort of like a cut file, just hand cut file. Um, so now I'm just laid out. It's just on um, really thin printer paper right now, what I traced it onto. And then I just laid it on top of my black cardstock and I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut all the way through both layers. The only thing with this process is you have to be very careful um, and go fairly slowly just to make sure that your lines don't get wonky. So this right here is a piece of um, cork paper and it's adhesive backed. It's just from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I was really excited when I realized I still had cork paper. So it'll be perfect for the actual cork. Um, and so now I'm just cutting out that shape and then um, I'm going to pull out some plain cardstock. It's just the cardstock you get in those big multi-packs from Michaels for like two or three dollars. And I was choosing between, I thought I wanted that bright purple, but I really like this darker, like magenta-y, purpley pink. And then these are the liquid parts for the inside of the potion. Um, one's one comes up a little higher and one comes down a little lower and it just kind of makes it that liquidy that look like the bottles turn sideways and you can see all the way through more dimensional and so then I'm just adding a tiny bit of ink across the top just so you can see that dividing line and then I'm drawing with a pencil actually on the back I realized to turn it over some little dots to make it look like it's bubbling up um, and I was looking for my crocodile in a minute, but I have no idea where it is. Um, so I just pulled out some normal hole punches. I have a teeny tiny normal hole punch and a regular size. And I just punch holes down the side there. I was going to cut them with my exacto, but, oh, sorry. It's 530 in the morning, so I'm yawning. Um, I was going to cut it with an exacto knife, but that was just too much. So I just punched holes. It was super quick and easy. And the only thing with that is that you can only go down the one side, but that's what I was planning anyway. So it worked out pretty well. The only thing I didn't really think through on this is that, um, down that side you need to leave a good like maybe quarter inch down all the way down like the edges um because you'll have to add foam tape there to make sure it doesn't um the sequins don't leak out whenever we add sequins later I go back and kind of you'll see anyways um so I pulled out the Nuvo liquid adhesive and I'm just going to glue this little bottle outline to um, my transparency paper and I bought this like literally 10 years ago when we first got married um, on Amazon and I think it, I want to say it was like $10 for a big pack I don't have any idea how much it is now but I just got a like a giant pack of um, transfer paper on Amazon um, so now I'm thinking about it and then I decide a uh, foam tape all the way down the back of that one so that the sequins don't hopefully don't go all the way down inside it um, and they'll stay on the outside layer if I did it over again before I punched holes I also would have 
left about a quarter inch at the top where the bubbles come all the way up so that I could put foam across there and they wouldn't, the foam wouldn't, I mean the sequins wouldn't leak down into the holes, which I think it'll be fine. It's not a big deal. You won't be turning it all the way upside down and back over, I think. <laughs> so the one mis the other mistake that I was talking about earlier is doing it all the way down the side is you can see at the very bottom corner later I'll have to go back and add a tiny little piece of foam and and I'll show you but um when I do that weird thing that's what I'm doing is I'm adding a tiny little piece of foam at that bottom corner so that sequins don't leak out there accidentally so now I'm just adding my tape runner adhesive and I'm gonna stick that to that other piece of purple and I stand them up like that so that they're even across the bottom and I point out that I missed one of the holes and it got covered with foam it's fine it's not a big deal you won't really tell once all the sequins are in there so now I'm just once that adhesive is kind of dried um, I'm cutting just trimming it down to size around the edges Sorry, I didn't realize this took so long in the video or I would have cut some of it out. <laughs> okay, so we're done. And then I'm going to take um, the craft foam. And it's just the cheap kids craft foam. that It's got adhesive on one side already just to make it easier. Goodness, I am so tired this morning. Sorry. Um... And I cut it into teeny tiny little strips, like probably 16th inch strips. And then go all the way around the outside of the bottle. Um, just making sure all the edges butt up to each other so that the sequins don't leak out. And I fast forwarded so you don't have to watch it. And then I'm using the Nouveau adhesive and I'm just adding adhesive to the bottom three edges where the purple... Um, from the inside of the potion will meet up and then attaching those he's so cute I'm so excited I'm I just was so excited about how this turned out it was like I had it in my head and it was just so great whenever it came to life So then um, I was trying to decide which sequins I want and then I found these and these were the perfect color because they match that paper so well. Um, they are, I don't know what brand they are, I don't think they have a brand name on them, but um, they are from Tuesday morning and I think they were either $1.99 or $2.99, something like that I think. So I'm just putting a bunch in there and I love that they have little hearts in there too. And you can see um, how where I put the foam on that second layer, you can see where they just kind of sit on top there so that you don't have, you're not losing all your sequins down in that second layer. Yay, I'm so excited. So now putting all the sequins away, getting them out of the way. Um, and then I'm going back with more foam and I'm cutting more tiny strips like I did before. Because there's foam between those two purple pieces, now you, there's a height difference. So I'm adding foam back where um, where the purple isn't, basically. And then on the purple, where I was kind of messing around a little bit, it didn't go all the way up to the edge, so I had to tuck it in the edge a little bit. And then now I'm adding a tiny little piece down in that bottom corner, like I was talking about earlier because it didn't go all the way down and then I added it and then I'm adding some liquid adhesive for the other side because one side's adhesive and one side's not so now that it's all adhered I mean it's all ready to go I add glue all over the foam and the purple and then I'm gonna stick it down on another piece of transparency paper and it's I mean it's pretty thick transparency paper which is nice you can use it for a lot of things. There we go. 
And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it under um, this cutting mat. I think I did it earlier, but um, with a different piece. But um, I'm sticking it under the cutting mat just so it holds it down to dry and make sure it gets all those pieces. It's not a lot of weight, so it's not going to weigh it down and like make it buckle or anything. It's just going to keep it in place. So then I pulled out this sheet of paper. I have no idea what brand it is. I'm so sorry. It's from scrapbook.com. It was um, on clearance. So it was something like 50 cents. And I just love that like yellowy mustardy color. So I just kind of trimmed it off a little bit. The transparency. It's not dry yet. But um, I just wanted to get a better idea of the shape. Um, and then before I do that, I realized that I had a great idea for the title. Um, I mean, I knew what the title I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be Witch's Brew anyways, but about how to do it. And I remembered I had these tiny gold um, alpha stickers and they are from Target um, back in their crafting supplies. And then um, I pulled out my circle templates and then I'm going to lay it down and use that so it gets a nice cool rounded edge but it'll be perfectly round instead of just kind of trying to wing it so right now I did it on wax paper just to test it and then I'll go back and do it on for real oh yeah for real on the bottle <laughs> Um, and then I just started in the middle with the most middle letter and worked out so that it was even on both sides. And then I will fast forward in just a second. Um, so there we go. We have it all ready. Um, just making sure everything's still pressed down really good. Um, I'm just going to move everything out of the way and then... I think now is when I'm going to, no, then I'm going to add foam tape to the back of this cork piece. Um, and then later, I think off camera, part of my video is messed up, like part way through um, after the spray mist, um, I had to wait till the next day and part of it somehow got cut out. So you'll see, but um I added foam, a uh, layer of foam behind, and then later I will add another layer of foam that you won't see. So it'll end up with two layers of foam. So right now I pulled out my Heidi Swap color mist. Um, one is like a more dark pink reddish color. It's not exactly that color that's in the bottle, but I ended up I sprayed a like every time I went to do it I would spray one or two of the pink and then one or two of the gold and so that kind of gave it a nice really really shimmer and then um it also kind of made that color closer to what um it like kind of toned it down so it looked closer to that purpley pink instead of that hot pink and then I'm just splattering a little bit on both sides in my head what I wanted to do was draw and cut um, tattoo kind of style flowers to go around it and do a big banner but I didn't want to cover it up at all with the banner like the way it was in my head and I just didn't really want to deal with doing flowers either so um, later I will go through and look at my um, my die cuts and see if I can find some and then I found some that I really like how they turned out with it so now um you saw me trim off the outside of the transparency paper and just trimmed it down and then I pulled out this stencil and this stencil is from Hobby Lobby it was on clearance in the wearables department it came with a bunch I mean I, I bought several sets but each set came with like three or four different ones one of them had like a little astronaut he's so cute I'll have to use him on something um oh actually I have perfect pictures for an astronaut anyways um sorry so I'm using the gold glitter doodle bug um glitter paste texture paste and it's from Tuesday morning 
Um, and then this brush I got at Hobby Lobby when I got the others on clearance. And it's it looks like a brush, but the pink end is just rubber, like soft kind of rubber. So it works kind of like a palette knife. So, I mean, you could do the exact same thing with a palette knife or even like I've done it with like a business card or like a old gift card that doesn't have anything on it. Super simple. So I pulled out the, um, the chipboard hat is from Crate Paper's Hey Pumpkin chipboard sheet. Um, and so this is when it kind of cut off some of my, uh, video. So it, it, but it wasn't anything special. I was digging through and I cut stamped some flowers and then I went back and decided I didn't want to stamp the flowers and I just used the die cuts I already had. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I trimmed it half an inch off of two sides because it wasn't exactly centered anymore and I needed to back it with some cardstock to give it some more um, stability because it's still super wrinkly even though I left it overnight with like giant notepads on top of it it was just still super wrinkly um, so I just trimmed half an inch off two sides so it gives it a quarter inch border all the way around and then um, layered it with some paper the paper look it was like notebook paper but the edge was cork so it was kind of cool to go with the cork I also found these um cork stars and they are from good vibes collection I believe from a while back um Tuesday morning and um the black and white flowers are from Maggie Holmes they're a die cut and it comes with two of them and then um where I trimmed the bottom left flower off to fit right there I used it at the top right just to layer some more to look like there's more flowers than there are and um part of the video that got cut off is was where um my foam I cut foam I cut the I use the odd parts of the foam that are a huge waste um, to go back behind pictures and stuff when I need them really dimensional because it's super thick foam. So um, part of the video I cut foam to go behind there. And then I use my liquid adhesive to, add, to glue down the wood stars and then I'm going to use these foam pieces to mount the um, cork stars. And these are just fun little photos of my girls. Lola was um, the one I nannied for four years, her first four years of her life. And so she's really my first baby. And so we got to take her with us to go trick-or-treating this weekend at the zoo. So I had to get pictures. And of course she had to dress up like a witch too. So they were just adorable. Um... I think on another video, hopefully if I have time this month, um, you'll see where I do, I have pictures of the two of them with the Sanderson sisters from the same day. So one of the booths at the zoo, like all the ladies dressed as the Sanderson sisters. So it's really fun. So now I'm just adding more details that, um, little boo chipboard that I stick down there and then um I'm gonna do the year down there obviously it's in October and so it's not a big deal and then later um off camera I'll go back and add my journaling like probably probably down there at the bottom as well but just using these tiny type stickers to add the year and then I have to readjust them because they're not fitting right but then I tuck one of them behind there There we go. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, I believe. Just still looking for more, if I need anything else off that sticker. And then I found on the first sticker page, um, these little strips. And I can't remember exactly what they say, but they were all like kind of witch related. One was about wearing costume. It was costume cuties and um, the other two were witch related. So it was just kind of funny and perfect. Um, and then I cut little strips of foam to go behind each strip. And then I'll glue those down at the end. And then I think that is it after that. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this layout and I just absolutely love how it turned out. It was better than how I had it in my head. Um, so I hope this inspired you to go do something fun and unusual um, this Halloween. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video or you like this layout and you can go down and hit the like button or leave a comment. Um, if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer questions. You can leave a comment or you can find me on Instagram just with my first name, Shadney. Um, and then if you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. Uh, thank you so much and enjoy these photos. Bye.